Hey, welcome back to the Chevy Florida Insider Fisher Report. And, and you know, over you here at the Jägermeister workbench, there's a lot of good stuff going on. You, My re favorite you remember that part. cartoon? It, it's a big one, and he's not happy. I remember. I was fishing for Cobia with Donnie Brown. I was using a mullet, but I should have been using a, hook, a Hank Brown hookup jig because they got a brand new one. Look at that. Brand new Cobia jig from Look Hank Brown's hookup Cobia jig. This is, this is part of their new SYN series, you know, S-Y-N for synthetic, which Correct. means, you know, I had a lot of those other pretty ones up here, but you leave those out on the boat for a little while and they fall apart. You know, these don't, these will never, you have to brush them. You can put them in some, uh, you know, wash them out. You can actually even put them in some uh, hair conditioner. And it After softens. You've used, it softens them up. Like and you, you can do use your them, cast nets. Yeah, like you do your cast net or any of your island lures or any of that stuff. But these are the new, these come from one to two and a half ounces. Uh -huh. I think these are all two ounce with a big ADOT must add hook, which is, you know, when you're fishing for Cobia, because they're so powerful, you got to have a big, strong hook in them, especially when you get close to the boat, because right. they, they do tend to, to go crazy. So these are hook, hook up lures, new Cobia jig. All right, good job. This is Abu Garcia, a Revo Toro, and that is a NACL, which, you know, NACL is the chemical name for salt. And this is the new Abu Garcia saltwater bait casting reel, which I, my first bait caster that I started using for saltwater was a big Abu Garcia 5600C, a big black one. And I had to put that thing down because I couldn't figure out how to cast it. You know, but the now they make them so easy to cast. You know, this thing has seven ball bearings in it. It's got a nice braking system, so you don't keep throwing a big ball in it like I used to when I was a little kid. Yeah. Um, this one has a nice clicker on it. Uh -huh. it, it. It has 22 pounds of drag. It'll go up to 22 pounds of drag, which is way more drag than most people even use to catch a sailfish. It holds 330 yards of 30 pound braid, about 250 yards of 15 pound. So anything, I like the big handles. Well, and, and like that, knobs. you can either use that, or you can, or if oh, you don't like the twins, you can just put a single one on there, which wow. a lot of guys like a big one to crank on if you're fishing for snook or any saltwater, redfish, trout, whatever. All right, so what do we got here? Oh, these. I was gonna save these for last, but you picked them up, so we'll we'll use. Well, I'm them. afraid we might not get to them. Well, We're so long winded. Sometimes. Well, these are these are these are cool little lip bombs that are one handed from Vault. It's a Vault lip hand lip balm and you can use these things with one hand you know we're always twisting around we have little caps we're always losing the caps off you push that thing down it comes out you do your business and push the button and it goes back in isn't that cool the lip, i like that the lip balm it's called it's from vault all and right vaulty.com you go there all right david you want to go to the trolling lure spotlight camera where you go no, we'll here, do the man. bonds lures these are these are a, fel a friend of mine named graham bonds fleet he he makes uh these all these big trolling lures um, wow. We've actually cut some of these out so you can see how he puts, I cut the skirt out so you can see how he puts the, the, the rigging system on there. He uses a nice big swivel and he has the soft rigging so you can slide that, mm -hmm. slide that right up in there and it keeps your hook set how you want it. Right. These are tighter hauls. This one, I love the names. This one's called the Ballistic. This is the Mongrel Dog. Uh, this one's called Here for the Party, which, you know, a nice little lure like this. He, it, it, these, these lures, are, are really good because he usually keeps the hole in the center, which is very important to make him go straight. Uh, a lot of guys some, sometimes will put the hole off center, they'll weight the lure so that they swim real erratically. When the lure is swimming real erratic, the fish has a hard time to catch it. You want most of your lures to just go straight in a nice straight plunge, you know, and that way the fish comes up to it and he can make a get a bead on it and pile on it instead of having to try to catch it swimming around back and forth so bonds he makes some great stuff and all of this stuff is you know center hole nice flat face so it goes straight all right you got about 45 seconds well that's the big that's the big sea view uh reef camera uh reef master mini elite it's a whole kit it comes with not only this nice uh digital flash but the camera and also most importantly which is what most people don't get when they get a nice underwater camera is a wide angle lens. Oh. And this, this little wide angle lens slides right on here when this pop, when you pop your flash off, uh -huh. you can slide this on and put this back on. But this little, this little thing opens up your field of view to 33, 33 degrees. So you can get real close up like 12 inches and get the whole scene instead of just one little spot. And when you're shooting macro <clears throat> pictures, especially underwater, you know, 
you got to get up close to really to, to catch the, the detail and the really small stuff. That's a camera that can do both though, which is really good to see life reef master. And that, that whole kit comes in, in one deal now. So you don't have to keep buying the little pieces. Well, the editor of Marlin Magazine knows how important it is. To, I like to get good pictures. Yeah, <laughs> obviously that's important to you 